What's up guys? I'm checking in a much happier, much more relaxed Bridget because I am officially done with finals. I'm in my pajamas. I'm in hoodie because the air conditioning's on. I'm editing videos, drinking iced tea, and I'm totally done with finals. I took my last ones this afternoon. The way my school makes it work is you can't just like take your finals out of state and you can't just miss them. They're very strict. You have to take them the same day, same time, and with a certified proctor that you would normally take them at my college. So I did that. I've done this before because I got in a situation where I came down for my cousin's bachelorette party and had to do that with a math exam. So I've done this before, did it, got it over with. Definitely think I did well. Definitely think I aced them, fingers crossed. But uh, should be good. I worked really hard and studied really hard. Even with all the wedding festivities going on, I knew it was still important that I did well on these exams. But I already had A's in the classes going into the exams, which definitely helps and kept me less stressed, I guess you would say. Because I did some calculating on what I needed to get on my final to keep an A. And I had a lot of wiggle room for all my classes. So... That is always a good feeling. I definitely did well keeping up this semester, which I normally do. But after my finals, Eric and I went to the gym and then I cooked up some elk. He ate some salmon. I had elk, avocado, and Brussels sprouts and it was amazing. And now it's going into tomorrow. It's my first day of freedom. I'm like, what do we even wanna do? Of course I wanna go fishing. I actually need to look into a new fly rat, I think. So. Maybe I'll go explore that. I don't want to spend too much money because it's a big saltwater fly rod and they can get really, really pricey. But at the same time, I want something with a good warranty and all that. So maybe I'll take you guys shopping for that. I also want to get some sunshine. I've gotten no tan yet, even though I look kind of pink right now, probably from after the gym. But I've gotten no sunshine yet, so I definitely want to get my tan on. But... The weather is a little cold the next couple days, so it'll be interesting to see. Not cold, Florida cold, like 70s, but we'll see if it's warm enough and sunny enough for me to lay outside in my bikini and get a tan on. That would be great. Besides that, um, my Christmas present to Eric, he already knows about it, but I got him a hotel, well us a hotel. <laughs> got him a hotel by himself. Got us a hotel in Lover's Key, which is this little island over in the Fort Myers area. It's a little over two hours from here, um, pretty much straight west, kind of just north of the Everglades. And I'm really excited because I've never been there before. I've heard it's beautiful. I got a really nice room. Should be having a balcony, looking right over the water, beautiful king-size bed. I'm pretty sure it has a kitchen. Has a really nice oceanside um, place for dinner afterwards. Has some salmon, which salmon is Eric's thing. Has some other fish like mahi, hogfish, yellowtail, tuna. That's more my thing as far as fish goes. I like salmon, but I... It's weird, I never crave it. When I eat it, I like it, but I never really want it. Like, once every six months, I'm like, I really want salmon. <laughs> it's weird, I like it, I just don't ever feel like it. So I really like those white ocean fish, though, that you can get really, really fresh here in Southern Florida. So that'll be fun, just a little two-day getaway. We're going there Thursday and uh, into Friday. And then Saturday, he's actually flying home. He has some things to take care of. I'm gonna use that time after that little vacation to Lover's Key to start figuring out some fishing trips because I really need to get on that. Now that I'm done with finals, I've been slacking. I don't really have any plans. I need to contact some of the captains that I know that are really awesome fishermen, see if we can get out on their boat, make some YouTube videos. That'll be really fun. I'm curious, what fish do you guys want to see me catch? I, of course, always want to catch fish on my fly rod so I've never really done well in the ocean with my fly rod kind of because I've also never tried never been in the right situation always been shrimp fishing and reefs stuff like that deep sea fishing never really had the opportunity back country with my fly rod but I'm ready and it's something I really really want to do so wish me luck that I can figure something out for that and also cast well <laughs> and catch some fish because it's not easy saltwater fishing is a different breed the fish are big mean aggressive predators 
but super important note, I actually just finished editing my Colorado mule deer hunt, which is good. It's so good. It's about 16 minutes long. It's really, really fun. Um, sneak peek, there is some success in there. So it was a last minute, last resort tag, two days left to hunt. Really was kind of like one day. Left after school, flew out there, Eric picked me up. It was wild. It was so fun, and I'm trying to decide when I'm gonna release that. So this is going live on Wednesday. It'll be released either Sunday or Monday. So keep your eyes open on my YouTube channel for that video, Sunday or Monday. I'll decide from here on out, but that's gonna be a really, really good one, and a little bit longer than usual, like 16 minutes, but still not too bad. But you guys definitely wanna stay tuned for that. The rest of the videos will probably be finishing up elk hunting and that's about it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you next time. Tomorrow, because it's Vlogmas and I'm doing videos every day. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see ya.